A gunshot victim lays on the operating table at a Chicago hospital located near some of the most troubled neighborhoods on the south and west side. Gun violence is so closely associated with Chicago, the Windy City has picked up another nickname, Chirac, which is why the Navy has started a program to train medics who will work in war zones here. The main idea is for to get our corpsmen and our nurses down here, because um, when we're stateside, we don't do trauma while we're in the Navy, um, and so we want to get them down here and involved taking care of penetrating trauma, because that's what we take care of overseas all the time. And this is one of the major hospitals in the country where we deal with a lot of penetrating trauma. At this hospital, they treated nearly 600 gunshot victims last year alone. And while there are no IEDs exploding in Chicago, there are parallels in the care given here. And so you'd have a lot of uh, injuries from perhaps from landmines land and IEDs. Um, and here we'll have um, high-speed car crashes, which can cause similar types of injuries to the extremities. And so then you need to do hemorrhage control here or there. And uh, a lot of the skills are very transferable. Before deploying to Afghanistan, Navy Petty Officer Second Class Dwight Koontz received six months of basic skills for his job as a corpsman and two months of field training dealing with combat casualties. We are embedded with them. We become part of their, their unit and we do everything that the Marines do. And then when one of them goes down, we're the first ones there to take care of them. This is his first time training in a civilian hospital. This morning it was full of patients who had gunshot wounds and then a car accident and all four of them went to the operating room. Three of them went to the operating room today, so it gets very busy here. The civilian military partnership aiming to better prepare those who serve. Bob McCall, Associated Press.